Hello and welcome to Artswarm. Artswarm is an audio video type experimental program where a theme is suggested for each episode and then I invite people to create something on that particular theme. And everything you're about to see in Artswarm is new, it's made just for this program, which makes it interesting. It's a premiere, it's a world premiere, everything you're going to see. That's how exciting the program is. Well, this week's theme is pies, which is quite an interesting theme. And I'm going to start with the first of two pieces about uh, the mathematical constant pi. You might know it's the ratio of the diameter of a circle to its circumference to its... Yes, that's correct. 3.141 is how you know it. Now, you can actually convert those numerals into any number base. So I've converted them into a series of seven notes and then therefore made a musical actual copy of the number pi. So what you're about to hear is the number pi in musical form. It's called Seven Pies. And next on our pies themed program we have two poems from two Stevens, both stories of apple pie. The first, memories of mother's apple pie and then how apple pie should be eaten. Make your favourite record, the film that you adore, the sports team's colours that hang upon your wall. These things, they may define you, make you who you are, but they don't feed that secret desire to taste your mother's cooking, that old made apple pie. Like a time machine, it takes you back to when you were young, when the simple things brought joy, the power of that slice of pie. The thought of it still makes me cry, my mother's apple pie. Apple Pie there's a debate that rages in our house. Not Brexit or any kind of political mess. Not religion or any kind of social tension. But apple pie and custard. Now I am in the hot apple pie and warm thick custard camp. But my other half disagrees. Hot apple pie is fine, she says, but it's got to be cold custard. Cold custard. Now I say cold custard only belongs in a trifle. Cold custard does not go on warm apple pie. But that's the way my other half wants it. So she gets it. And I get to warm my own custard. But whatever way you enjoy it, 
apple pies are the best. Now, you can keep your caramel apple pie or your cinnamon apple pies. They're all right at a pinch. But a simple, short crust, chunky apple filled with a nice bite, lightly dusted with sugar on top, plain good old apple pie. You just can't beat it. And no ice cream either, that's just frozen custard. Next on our pie show, uh, an original piece by Andrew Williams, the first of two, and he very cleverly discovered that pies, P-I-E-S, is also P-S, which is Spanish for feet. So he, he's written a little dance type piece of music called Los P.S. And now, a cautionary tale by Amanda Steele, and then a poem by myself about memories of Grandmother. Why you should never call a woman fat? I can tell, he said, after having she had won 52 pies. He might as well have said, you're looking like a fat cow today. She held back from telling him, he looked like he'd eaten 104 pies and a few cakes washed down with bottles of wine, and then crisps when he got the munchies, followed by numerous takeaways. And those trousers he wears, in the summer, they're too short for him. Not trousers, but not shorts either. And the way he talks, like he's so smart, but failed university. So maybe not that smart. When she finally went to tell him, he no longer looked like he'd eaten much at all, because he lay still and flat in the middle of the road where some woman left him after stealing a pie truck and running the f over. Warm apple steam cascades in cinnamon curls down the hall to my child nose. My grandmother's shadow 
dances in the sunlight to the clatter of plates, bone-handled cutlery kissing formica tabletops. The cooked apples, wet and hot and sweet to the bite, fresh as the memory of Sunday sun rays, sharp to cut through falling dust. Now my skin is like soft bark, my red cloak lost among gingerbread as I search for a trail marked by the ghost of cooked apples, stalked by the wolf that took her. Pies. Pies of pastry, short crust, flaky, phyllo or puff, dabbed with a little milk or with a beaten egg brushed, a perfect golden crumbly crust. Filled with pork, apple or beef and ale, chicken and mushroom, cheese and onion, ham and leek, braising steak, cherry pie or bakewell. Hang on, that's not a pie, it's a tart with tantalisingly tempting icing and a cherry on top. Now there's a kind of art involved in perfecting a pie. You can have pie and chips, pie and mash, pie chips and beans, or pie potatoes and veg. But the real piece to resistance is pie with roasted peas and gravy and a little bit of tomato ketchup splodged on the top for good measure. And now a final piece by Andrew Williams and also our second piece about the number pie. This particular one has a musical version of the digits of pi and a pie being sliced into pieces.
And that's it. That concludes our amazing journey through pies this week in Art Swarm. Uh, my name's Mark Sheeky, and if you'd like to connect with the programme, you can do so on Twitter at Artswarm TV. And you can also find out how to send and create something for Art Swarm by visiting my website, MarkSheeky.com slash Artswarm.php, because the programme is all about people just having a go at something, just coming up with a theme and they're thinking, yes, I could do something on that, something that no one's ever heard before, something amazing, astonishing, astounding, interesting. Uh, the theme for the next show is New York. So I look forward to showcasing some of the things that you've made for that.